we are going to start with the meat. I am going to use two pounds of hamburger meat. You can use whatever hamburger meat you like. If you need to cut it down, you can just cut the recipe in half or double it according to your family size. We are going to start with some salt. I will list the, the recipe down below, guys. Don't worry about that. We are going to put some Lee and Perrins in here. We're going to put some ketchup. Okay, we are going to add our pepper. And our breadcrumbs. I'm going to use only half of this to start. And then we'll add more if we need it. And I'm going to use some gloves just to make it easy for myself. We're going to get in there. You can use a wooden spoon if you want. Okay, and then we are going to shape these. Make them the size that you like. And if you don't want the meat to stick to your hands, put a little bit of water on your hands, which I'm going to do right Put a little bit of water on your hands and then we're going to shape these into oval shapes now like i said make them the size that you want them i don't want them too too big or too small you don't want them too skinny either i hope you can see that just about like that and that's about a half an inch thick okay i'm going to put it on my cookie sheet there the uh, steaks all ready to go. We're just going to let them sit here for a little bit while we get our onions and our mushrooms ready. You like to have everything ready before you start to cook so you don't forget anything and nothing burns on you. I just like to slice them. You can dice them however you want to cut your onions or if you don't want onions, don't put onions. Just put the mushrooms. Okay, so I just like to slice them. our onions and then I'm gonna get our mushrooms and the mushrooms I'm just gonna slice them up okay and that should be enough I'm gonna transfer y'all over to the stove and we will get started alrighty here we are this thing is already on it is hot I like to use a cast iron skillet for this and we're gonna add some oil and some butter. Okay, and then I'm just going to start putting in the patties or the steaks. We are going to cook them for about three to four minutes per side. Okay, once they have cooked for about three to four minutes on one side, we want to flip them over. And you see that nice sear that it got? Because your skillet's very hot. Alrighty, these should be ready to take off. Oh yeah, they're ready. Now they're not cooked completely through, but we're still gonna cook them some more when we make our gravy. I'm gonna turn this down just for a bit. That one needs a little bit more. Okay, now I turn this down. I am going to take off just a little bit of this fat. It's okay, we're going to leave some, but that's just a little bit too much. Okay, that should be good right there. Okay, we are going to add in our mushrooms at this time. And we're going to let those get real nice and brown and cooked down. This is going to take you a good 10 minutes. See how the mushrooms drink up everything that's in the skillet? And just turn it down and let them cook slowly so that they can soften up real nice. Okay, you see how nice and cooked down our, our mushrooms got? That's exactly what you want. You want them nice and softened up. Nice and dark, makes a good gravy. Now we're gonna add in our onions. And let, this, let the onions get translucent. Take it a couple of minutes. Okay, 
now that the onions are nice and translucent, we are going to add our thickening agent, which is some flour. We're going to add about three tablespoons of flour. Sprinkle it around and we're going to cook this down. Okay, now we are going to add our beef broth. A little bit at a time. Start mixing it up and scraping the bottom of the skillet. Since this is hot, it's going to probably thicken up really quick. Okay, now that we have the broth in there, we haven't put any seasoning. This is when we're going to taste this first and we're going to get a feel of what it needs. Okay, we are going to need some salt. It's always best to let it cook down a little bit before you start adding your ingredients because, you know, the broth has salt, so you don't want to over salt everything. I am going to add the same ingredient seasoning that I added to the meat. We're going to add it to the gravy. Okay, so we are going to add some ketchup. We are going to add some Worcestershire, some Lee and Perrins, and a lot of pepper. Pepper makes this dish delicious. We're going to let this come back up to the simmer, which it already is, and we're going to taste one more time. And then you adjust the seasoning to how your family likes it. You do it your way. Nice and thick and dark gravy. Okay, let's give this another taste. Mmm, delicious. This is delicious. Okay, now that that's back up to the simmer, we're going to add our patties back in there so that they can finish cooking off in there. Put the juices back in there. Nothing wrong with that. And then just cover them up with the gravy. Turn it down just a little bit so that it doesn't cook too, too fast. And it gives the meat enough time to cook. Okay, look at that. Oof, can't wait to try this one today. Get those mushrooms up on top of that meat. So we're just going to let this continue to cook. I've turned it down. And we're going to let it cook for about 15 minutes. And they sh everything should be perfect by then. Alrighty, I'm turning this off. It's been about 15 minutes and I did come over and, and flip these one more time after that. So I'm going to go ahead and plate this and let's let you look at it on a plate. I do have some mashed potatoes on board over here. So let's uh, plate this up. Alright everybody, here's our Salisbury steak accompanied with some mashed potatoes. You can do some corn or I'm just going to top it off with a little bit of parsley sprinkled on top for color. And look at that. Yummy. Boy, I cannot wait to get my teeth into this today. Okay, everybody, let's give this a taste. Nothing fancy. Don't eat no steak knives or nothing. We're just going in. A little bit of mashed potatoes with a piece of the steak. Mmm, 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 mmm. Very, very good. This is so easy to make, guys. You will be surprised. You can even prepare these ahead of time for another meal down, you know, later on in the meal rotation. Just get to where um, you make, form your patty, put them in a freezer bag, and seal them up real good. And this way you're, you know, you're almost halfway there for a beautiful dinner for the family. And uh, I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. And this is good, kid-friendly, nothing spicy in it. It's very, very good. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video for today. I sure enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out here on the channel. It tells YouTube to share our content a little bit more. So I really would appreciate it. And also, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Stick around for a while. Turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye.